The external forces acting on the quadrotor are estimated on the basis of the system momentum and are employed in a hierarchical architecture to perform hovering and tracking tasks without a precise knowledge of the vehicle's dynamics and in presence of external disturbances. The closed-loop equations are shaped as mechanical impedances. Experiments have been performed in the PRISMA arena which is equipped with an OptiTrack motion capture system. The employed quad rotor is an Aztec Pelican. The controller is implemented on board at 100 Hz. A hovering task is performed at 1 meter from the ground. An additional load has been put on the vehicle and not considered in the control, while a fan produces wind in front of the quad rotor. At the beginning, the fan is turned off. Then, the operator turns on and off alternately the fan to produce a time-varying disturbance on the aerial vehicle. The hovering task is performed by considering the proposed control law. A comparison with classical PID and PD-based controllers has been made. The related plots show how the proposed controller improves the performance of the considered task. Only the hovering part is considered in the related time histories. The estimated external forces and moments are also shown. It is possible to notice both the estimation of the force due to the additional load, along the Z component, and the reconstruction of the external force, caused by the wind, along the X direction. Another additional load has been added as a pendulum to simulate the presence of a robotic arm carried by the quad rotor. Again, this has not been taken into account in the control but considered as external disturbance. The vehicle has now to track a circle planned in the XY plane at a constant altitude from the ground and executed twice. A comparison of the tracking task between the proposed controller and classical PID and PD has been performed.